everyone welcome back to my channel it has been so long i haven't been on said hello or done any sort of videos in quite some time now um i've just not had a chance so new year's resolution gonna try and do my videos <laughs> um so yes i am aiming to put more videos up and i'm hoping to more nail art more um, of the sort of runnings of the bus and what we get up to because I know a lot of people are always interested in that I get lots of uh, messages about it so I just thought I'd start uploading a regular video so that you can all come along for the ride and see what I get up to and um, so today is Monday I have got so much to do Monday is my paperwork day it is always jam packed full of um, annoying jobs basically that need doing and I never actually get down to the paperwork so my aim today is to try and get down to the paperwork um, we've got so many events coming up and I would love to take you all with us along on the journey so I will be documenting that and videoing it um, I'm sorry if you can see cars I'm not sure whether that's in the shop but we are actually right on the seafront and this is the main promenade I'm in Cleveland's today and it's been raining for the last forever uh, because it is winter and so today is beautiful sunshine I will show you around in a minute and I'm not sure if you can see the hills and the mountains the Lake District is just over there and it's got all snow on top of the on the tops it's all snowy and beautiful so yeah today I need to go to I need to get my paperwork done then I need to go to the garage because I've noticed a leak under the front of the bus under the cab bit I'm not sure whether it's diesel or oil but it's some sort of fluid that leaves like a rainbow effect on the floor outside and um, so that needs fixing and dealing with so I'm gonna go to the garage I'll take you there I'm sure you're all very excited to go to the garage um, and other than that I'm just gonna clean down and talk you through whatever I get on with throughout the day really um, I have made all of my clients a New Year's Eve gift and I will show you that as well so if you are a salon owner or you are a technician of any kind and you're looking for gifts for clients because I find it really hard to think of gifts for clients at Christmas that isn't going to be too costly but still is a really lovely um, useful thing. Okay attempt number two I'm not very good at camera in with the gimbal yet. So this is the beach it's literally right opposite the bus it's so beautiful we're right on the seafront with the beautiful waves and the fluffy clouds and the sun shining and just over here on the mountains you'll be able to see them now and they've got all snow on top of them they're so beautiful so yeah that's where I'm working from today favourite stops. I love just sitting and watching the birds here. There's so much wildlife to be seen and in actual fact we've even got um, oh, a pair of shoes hanging out the tree. I was going to say parakeets but um, ha, somebody's lost their shoes. <laughs> Okay, shoes aside, maybe they didn't want them. Um, but yeah, somebody's lost their shoes there. But yeah, Stanley Park is one of my favourite stops to pull up at. It's so beautiful. There's so much to see out the window, so much wildlife. Um, the sun is just setting. I have got my lights on, even though it's going dark. Um, but yeah, now I need to go and eat something because it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. I've still not had any breakfast. I've just been rushing around all day. Um, so I think I'm going to go to a lovely little cafe in Blackpool Town Centre. Um, it has all sort of lovely healthy foods and it does a really good green smoothie which I really enjoy. Uh, full of goodness. So yeah that's where I'm going to head now and 
have something to eat then i will carry on with some paperwork which i'm obviously not been doing and i'll catch up with you in a little bit sun's out but it's an incredibly cold morning as you can see it's snowed a little bit in the night but more importantly there's a lot of black ice here on the driveway so just need to be careful when I set off. May's snow's blending in with her. <laughs> oh. oh wow it is cold I need to get that off Good morning everyone and welcome back. It's now Tuesday. Um, I actually didn't finish off catching up with you yesterday. I took the bus to the garage and she has got a leak from the diesel tank which is under the front driver's side. Um, at the back of the wheel there's actually a fuel tank for the diesel heater um, and there is a leak from there. It's leaking diesel so that's obviously not a great thing. So that needs fixing. Um, and I also didn't get around to hoovering out my dust extractor, which is absolutely full. So I'm about to do that now before I set off. I can't take my coat off because it's so cold. Um, you probably will have seen a clip by now from me getting on the bus this morning and there is just snow everywhere, including the tap in the kitchen. There's ice coming out of the tap, icicles. So um, yeah, we're totally frozen over um, and I can't get the bus started, which is just typical. So, letting the bus charge up a little bit, the battery, to see if that gives it enough of a boost to help it turn over. In the meantime, I'm going to clean out the dust extractor and then I'm going to set off to work for the day. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you how dirty it gets. If you haven't got a dust extractor I, and you work in a salon, I strongly recommend that you invest in one. Mine's from Germany, it's a Nova Flare. I have done a video on it before, you probably will find that in um, one of the playlists somewhere. But yes, it gets dusty. Oh my gosh, it's all over my trousers already. Oh wow. Um, where do I start? Right, okay. So mine has a carbon filter on it, but look at that. It is full. Even the uh, tray that catches the stuff that it doesn't actually suck up because the dust extractor is full. I'm going to have to show you. Let me come and get you. Wow. So there is the dust tray that catches all the loose dust that doesn't get sucked up through the filter. So the filter is absolutely full. You can see into these holes here it's just full of dust and then the dust tray is also full oh. and now the uh, hoover is flashing orange done cracking my hair looks wild uh reality of working on a bus the heating broke today it hasn't worked all day and obviously it had to break on the coldest day ever it was so cold um 
so yeah that wasn't very convenient to be very honest tomorrow i'm not sure what i'll do and so i need to have a look at that now but obviously as you can see outside it's absolutely pitch black um so today's job sorry i'm in the kitchen now is sorry tomorrow's job is to um fix the heating wish me luck good night loads of goodies um i don't know where i was last up to or what day i was on i know my hair looks a bit wild always does because i'm always in a rush and i need to take this vintage parcel um send it in the post that's from the vintage account and um, valentine's day is coming up if you are on vintage and you're tall like me i'm 180 centimeters which is um five foot eleven i think uh, I'll leave my vintage down below if you're tall and you want to have a look at what clothes I'm selling, pop on. Um, but yeah, Valentine's Day is coming up so I need to dress the bus. I've got these cute little banners to go and they're sparkly and red ones, metallic red. They're going to go along the windows, um, or at least I think that's where they're going. Um, oh, and I got loads of chocolates. These are really cute. I got little love heart ones and I got little ladybug ones there for valentine's i know it's on the 14th um, but i've actually got a week coming off uh, a week booked off um because the bus has got to go in the garage for some serious work there's a big leak from the fuel tank and they did try and patch repair it but they've not been able to do it um sorry it's still super cold um the heating's broken the fuel tank is leaking and it needs fixing this is just reality <laughs> there's always something so yeah i'm gonna head off to st anne's now um do some clients in the cold i'm hoping i have pre-worn them and told them to bring a coat with them um, and i've got blankets and i've got hot water bottles so hopefully they'll be warm enough for the time being and to be fair today it's quite mild it's been raining so it's not too too cold i know you're at a funny angle just bear with me um yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Surprisingly, <laughs> because considering that, like I said before, I'm not very good with this gimbal, it's not very straight. But like I said before, the heating isn't working, so it is particularly cold in here. I've got somebody, I've got a, an audience. Hang on, I can't, I'm gonna take my coat off first. But I'm gonna decorate the bus with the love hearts and the chocolates and make it look a little bit more Valentine's Day like. Um, and then I'm gonna do my client and client clients um and then i'll get back with you okay what do you think does it look cute i think that'll do lovely Have you seen how cute these are? Love hearts and ladybugs. Can you see that? I hope you all had a lovely week. I'm probably going to finish the vlog here in St. Anne's. Like I say, it's grey, cold and rainy. I will try and edit this week and put it together for you. Um, and 
I'll catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye.